is actually called your protein. That's the protein you need. I like to call it a simple amino acid structure. That's it. You don't need a complex amino acid structure that have already been metabolized through another living organism. And your body have to literally make it rot and putrefy and cause all types of bacteria to pleomorphize into parasites like hookworms, tapeworms, flukeworms, fasciolopsis, booskies to even help break these things down. They can't break it down. So they say the hell with that. Let me go wreak havoc on some other tissues. So then it travels to the pancreas and it messes up the beta cells. It becomes a beta blocker. Now you can't produce insulin and you have hyperglycemia, what you will call diabetes mellitus. Then it'll mess up your liver. The flukeworm will leave out, leave all types of boreholes in there, probably give birth to 4,000 microorganisms in your pancreas. Now you're on an insulin pen for the rest of your life. Then it says, hell, let me catch a ride to the actual thymus gland. Then it starts eating up the integrity of the thymus gland and then it kills all your CD4 cells. Then the macrophages and all the different macrophages, the basal fields, the monophils, the neutrophils come in and try to fight. They can't do nothing about it. So it plummets your so-called immune system. Now you got HIV. Oh, uh, hell, let me have offsprings. Then the offsprings and the microorganisms, they start roaming around and then they, they defecation get between your tissues and start acidifying the, the actual cells and uh, what you will call the electrical cells of the nervous system of the body. Now you've got multiple sclerosis MS. Huh? Damn, well, these things have to keep breaking down and going back and forth. Now fungus is trying to help. Fungus and, 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 and Candida albicans is going to rebuild. We have to try to break this down. Man, look, it kicks their ass. They run back into their extremities of the bodies, getting to the fingernails, fingernail fungus. Getting to the toes, toenail fungus. Or you start seeing the skin trying to expectorate it out. You got a ring, a legion around your skin, ringworm. Huh? Psoriasis, dry patches. Then look, last but not least, the kidney's like, God dang, nothing is working. You know what? F it. Let me try to get this protein out of my kidneys. Brings all the proteins into the nephrons. The kidneys can't process nephrons. It rips and it breaks up the tubules and the proteins. And I mean, the, uh, the protein messes up the nephrons. Now you have kidney failure. High creatine levels. High buns numbers. Blood urine nitrogen numbers is just all crazy and messed up. Your whole urinalysis panel is wacky. And then they say you have stage two kidney failure. And then they stick you into a room and they filter your blood for you all day. And they never told you the issue. It was the protein. It was the amino acids the whole time. The complex amino acid structures got you in that room on them dialysis machines three times a week. Got your heart and heart disease. You've got fluid building up in your lungs and your heart. You, they never telling you it's the acids. It's two sides to chemistry, family. You have the acidic side to chemistry, then the alkaline base side to chemistry. Choose which one you're going to eat. Meat is acidic forming. It's acidic forming. It's an acid blowback that's going to happen from it. This is what it is, y'all. Dairy products. Now, I'm not going to lie. In some cows and in some goats, the milk, when it's straight from the tit, is actually alkaline. And this is how you know. Look, I'm going to sit here and tell the truth. But once you pasteurize it and you cook it, it's not. But it has been plenty of tests shown that milk that comes straight from the, which it, it, it makes sense it to be alkaline because they need to feed it to they, to they, uh, to their baby calves, but milk that haven't been treated, that haven't been dyed, that haven't been cooked and pasteurized is actually alkaline, y'all. <laughs> Ain't this crazy? Milk from cows and uh, milk from cows and lambs. They found it to actually be alkaline, right? Slightly alkaline, should I say? More alkaline than water, but hey, that's a different uh. That's a different topic. You know, y'all got on me about the water, but wait till I bust y'all heads with this lecture I got, boy. We're talking about this water, boy. See, new thinkers being at the forefront of knowledge and information, we always get ridiculed first. I don't be on here complaining or sounding bad. I be on here embracing it. When y'all be seeing my long statuses, I'm not depressed. I'm not depressed at all. I am on this mug. I'm congratulating myself and just showing y'all like, look, even though they ridicule me, they blowing me up. They talking about me on every airway. I got way more love lovers than haters, y'all. I got uh, I got a following that is, I mean, amazing. So I get way more love than hate, family. I just like pointing out the hate to show y'all that this is what comes with the job. And I want to show y'all my resilience, my just my relentless work ethic, and I never give up. So I'll be on, I'm on, I'm on here when I'm talking, I'm not complaining. I'm just showing y'all, look, take all these fiery darts, keep your chin up, keep studying and keep changing lives. That's all it is, family. That's all it is. Never complaining, not depressed about none of that. I can care less about what people think about me. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was 
born and created to do exactly what I'm doing right now. And that's to go against the grain, to go against the textbooks, to go against the colleges, to go against the curriculum, because it's all lies. And it was all built off of evil intentions and to create you to be a human damn battery of what you would call a slave. So that's the end game for y'all. If y'all don't stand up right now and fight back and start thinking outside of the damn box and quit believing everything you hear just because a so-called doctor and scientist said it. You better get out here and get in this field and get your hands dirty. You will see that most of the things they say, like 99.99, is bullshit. I'm talking about flat out bull crap. And once you really understand the body, human analogy, spirituality, and you have a sense of spiritual discernment, you'd be like, damn, everybody faking it. Even those who I thought real is faking it. Everybody faking it. It'll blow your mind out here, man. Really will. But anyways, so uh, I got a paper written down for y'all. So as we can see, what actually breaks down, what actually breaks down homocysteine, which is what's causing a heart failure and, and causing everything that we're going through, is actually the lack of vitamin uh, B12 and vitamin V6 and folate. So I wrote down a few things that y'all can get. And these are natural plant, look, that, that has more B12, that have more B6 and folate than meat. But don't nobody tell you that, though. If you Google it, the first thing they're going to say is you get it from, you get your B12, your B6s and your folate from meat. But checking these things, reading and studying and researching, you actually get it more from what they eat. So you got to ask yourself, what did the animal eat to get his B12? Because you eat the animal to get B12. You eat the animal to get B6. You eat the animal to get folates. What the hell did that thing eat to get his B12, B6 and folate? Simple stuff that you just got to start asking yourself. First one up is alfalfa sprouts. Alfalfa sprouts. Some of the highest levels of B12 and B6 and what you would call proline or hydro uh, or hydroxyproline or proline. And this is what actually makes sure your B vitamins. Another one is mushrooms. Y'all want some B12? Get on your mushrooms. The mushroom mycelium kingdom is amazing when it comes to the human body and getting all these vitamins in. Because the mycorrhizae and the mycelium network, they just networking and connecting plant roots together. So they just grabbing up all this shit from the soil and they helping exchanging it to all the plants. So if you really want to get some B12, some B6, some folates, the mushroom kingdom. Portobello mushroom. Make sure that you cook the portobello very, very good, though. I said it backwards the last time. Forgive me. I'm not perfect all the time. I see I'll be excited. Half of these damn words I can't pronunciate anyway. I ain't trying to pronunciate them. I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I go with the flow with things. But y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all look them up, y'all say, oh, that's what y'all was trying to say. I see it now. You see what I'm saying? I'm not here trying to be perfect. I'm here trying to show y'all that we are generational curse breakers. We are true healers of ourselves. And by us healing ourselves, we can be a light and example to the world for everybody else around us can heal themselves. I'm here to unify the people, unify the conscious mind, for we can fight back this big ass devil, y'all, because we are up against some shit that you can't even fathom. The more I study and research, I'll be like, ooh, we is in an ugly world and y'all are very, very, very very unprepared. So Yakai, Dr. Yakai Rafa Elohim is just here to prepare you. That's it. And that's because I love you. That's because I love you. Sexy red from your neck of the woods. Yeah, she from that. Yeah, she from she from right around the way. <laughs> All right. So uh alpha, alpha sprouts, avocados. Avocados is full of proline and hydroxyproline. Uh legumes, your lentils, red lentils. Full of it. Red lentils is amazing. I can't eat lentils a lot because it bloats me bad. I don't know what's going on with my candida albicans and breaking down lentils. They, my candida albicans, my microorganisms, when I eat lentils and, uh, and chickpeas, they create so much methane, I be bloated. And that's my issue now. Like my body's looking amazing. I'm working out. I'm losing weight. But one day I look like a cut up. I look like a cut up handsome guy. And then the next day I have a dad bod and my, and my belly bloated. So I'm working on that right now. Y'all trying to get rid of that. But I notice when I don't eat the, uh, the legumes and stuff like that, I don't get bloated like that. So yeah. Uh, what else I got written down for y'all? Uh, cucumbers, cucumbers are amazing. For that cucumbers are very good. And the reason why I like cucumbers, because cucumbers help stick the actual building blocks in the collagen together because cucumbers are full of silica. All right. So that's good. Oh, so the same thing happened to you, too. 
I don't know what's up with that, man. I eat them beans, boy. Them lentil beans and them chickpeas. I be funkerizing the world where my forts don't stink because I don't eat rotten dead carcasses. But uh, I most definitely be forting and forting everywhere, especially at nighttime, boy. Forting everywhere. And I ain't the type of person that hold in my fort. You know, I'm into health and I'm into physiology and anatomy. I know everybody fort, everybody pee and poop. You can be the baddest broad, the most beautiful goddess on this earth. Chocolate, melanin, popping, body curves, hips, all of that. Your ass still got to go sit on that toilet and, and poop, poop out some turds. So... <laughs> <laughs> so when it come to me, I don't be hiding for it. You for it just like you just shy. I know what's going on. I'm not finna. I'm not finna have this combustible methane all in my body, messing up my cells, walking around trying to let it out like it's air. No, nah, I got a Ford. I got a Ford. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna be doing all of that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, tomatoes. Tomatoes are good. They are high in lysopin. Uh, not only is they high in lysopin, but lysopin actually help protect. Look, help protect plant protein. So if you eat tomatoes and if you eat cucumbers, they help protect plant protein. If you're protecting your plant protein or complex amino acid structures from your plants, then you won't even have to even be thinking about the meat, the so-called meat protein that's already used anyway. She said, I'm shy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, so. Yeah, I always do cucumbers with no skin. Uh, for those that want to do cucumber with skin, I just suggest you that you you turn it into a smoothie, put it into a blender. That way you can at least cut up the uh the cellulose and you'll be able to uptake it. All right, people that's been eating cucumbers with skin their whole lives and never had no issues, hey, keep eating them. I'm not here to go. I'm not with the technical stuff no more. I'm not. Some things work for some people that don't work for other people. I am a firm believer in that. I've been saying that for the last 10 years. You know, some things work for some people that don't work for other clients. I didn't seen it. I didn't see. I literally have seen it. I told people do not eat bananas while they're fasting. Some person, one person ate bananas while they fast and almost killed them dead as a doughnut on these herbs. It shot up their blood sugar and everything. The other person, she got healed. She had HSV. She was healed in like 46 days. Same thing with uh, green juices. Uh, I mean, not green juice, but grape juice. Uh, a, a man had cancer and he had diabetes. You know, we was juicing a lot of people on grape juice. Man, this grape juice shot his sugar through the roof. I've been telling people don't do grape juice for the last four years now because of that. You know what I'm saying? But other people was on the same grape juice, doing the same diet, and they was cool. So, you know, you got to learn. It's an art to healing. Everything ain't going to be the same with every with each individual client. It's not. It's not. So if the seller with the skin on been working for you, Hey, have at it. If it ain't been working for you, like it don't work for me and a, and a hundred some of my other clients, then keep the skin off. And I'm telling you things, I'm speaking for the majority of melanated people. And I'm not speaking for, you know, speaking for those one, those anomalies, those one in out of 10,000 that it didn't happen to. I'm speaking to the majority where these things happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what I speak from. Another one is berries, antioxidants. Antioxidants is always good. I speak about the berry kingdom all the time, the anthocyanins, the colors of them, these different pigmentations, which is nothing but plant and fruit melanin, by the way. These are different carbons. The carbon is getting hit by the sun rays or the light spectrum differently, so they give off a different hue. You see that? But these things are amazing for your B12s, for your B6s, and for your folates. All right? Now, if you own a meat diet and you're addicted to the meat, and say if you're taking, if you're eating them on your plate every day, cut out breakfast. Cut out breakfast completely. That's your first step. Just cut out breakfast. Eat your lunch and dinner. Do that for a week. The week after that, cut out actual breakfast and cut out dinner. Only eat your lunch. Stay eating lunch for 30 days. And still, and look, I just want to show you the difference. Still add your meat. You're going to feel a whole difference in your energy, in your poop. How you able to defecate more, your urine, your clarity, you're going to be able to breathe better just by doing that. Then after you prove it to yourself by doing that, boom, then just take meat off the plate in general. There's plenty of other things that can give you the texture of meat if you like it that much. The mushroom kingdom. The mushroom kingdom. Now, I don't suggest you constantly fry foods because frying foods is bad for the arteries as well because we're not made to eat, cook our foods. We're actually made to eat our food raw like they do in nature. But if you are into cooking food, you can get you some fried oyster mushrooms. It will taste just like fried chicken. You just got to know how to season it right. You see that? You get you a good portobello um, uh, umbrella. You can make one of the best burgers ever. 
You want some steak? Get you some lion's mane mushroom. Lion's mane mushroom steak, some of the best steak I ever had in my life. You see what I'm saying? There's so many different uh, 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 mycelium kingdoms of mushrooms that have certain textures that taste. You even got a mushroom that tastes like fish. If you fry right and add some uh, some sea salt and some, you know, some aldine equivalents to it, it will taste just like fish. So there is no excuse for us to still be eating meat. It's not, especially with all the articles I showed you. And I ain't even going to depth. Y'all. I'm just studying. I got so many articles on this stuff, getting prepared for my things, for uh, for my uh, tour that we got coming up. Uh, now, B, come here real quick. We got the official uh, the official date for my graduation, and uh, we moved it. Well, the school moved it. They moved it from California to Atlanta. Y'all, they moved it from California to Atlanta. Pumpkin fries. I, I, me, I like... Uh, if, if I'm going to make any type of fries, I like uh, banana fries. I love banana fries or plantain fries. I'm a plantain banana fry type of person, not really into the pumpkin fries. But I do like zucchini fries. And when you look at the pumpkin, you look at the zucchini, they're part of the melon family. The the cucumbers, yeah. all of these are the melon family. Uh, Just get them Peace up. God. Peace, God. I just need an update on what we got going on. Peace and love, family. Listen, we're getting ready to start Yaki Awakens 2024 tour. So um, he's going to ask everybody to shout out your locations, your cities. If you like to bring him there, um, we're going to uh, begin to hit over 12 cities. OK, and we're going to do even more conferences. So um, his graduation, everybody knows, is coming up real soon. We're going to post everything where he's going to graduate with his Ph.D. We're going to do a conference, a graduation and a pop up clinic all in the same three day period right in the same city. We're going to tell you all that. We want to get the exact time, the exact date. So anybody... But that we know for a fact it's going to be in Atlanta. We know for a fact it's going to be in Atlanta. So yeah. it ain't going to be in Cali no more. They end up moving it. They That's moved right. it to the graduation to uh, Atlanta for the 2024 class. That's right. That's right. So, so, uh, that's that. Uh, I mean, you want me to keep going, God, or no, you just talking about the tour? <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't tell him too All right. much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then. Yeah. We got so much going on, but listen, y'all, please, after the, when he ends up, shout out your city, shout out your city. If you want your city to, 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 to host one of Yaki Awaken, uh, 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 conferences, we want to know about it. All right. Peace Thank you, Nabi. But yeah, y'all, so, uh, I guess he got the date, but it ain't confirmed because he told me the date earlier. Yeah, I do, but I just want to get one more. Yeah, so I ain't going to tell y'all the date. We tired <laughs> of giving y'all dates, y'all. I'll be giving y'all. I know y'all be like, y'all keep ass be lying. I promise I don't be. <laughs> Things just be changing up so much, y'all. So much. All right, look, uh, y'all can call in. Any questions y'all got, y'all can ask. But uh, that's what y'all need to do, y'all. And if anybody's suffering from any type of kidney diseases, uh, you know, parsley is very, very good for the kidneys. Cilantro is good for getting metal out of the kidneys. Cleaver's leaf is very good for cleaning and sweeping out the nephrons. Plantain leaf is good for getting all the lymphatic and the interstitial fluids of the kidneys cleaned out. Uh, or you can go on my site and get my kidney and adrenal kit. Uh, anybody that need to cleanse their blood. Burdock root is very, very good for the blood. Yellow dock is good for the blood. It actually binds to these chemistries that's not supposed to be in the bloodstream and move it to the lymphatic system. Hydrangea root break up any type of solidification or calcification. So when we're talking about how calcium goes into the arteries and solidify, solidify or crystallize on top of that mucus, uh, the good thing for that is hydrangea root. You see that? A good thing for that is high danger root. Of, uh, and red clover blossoms, not the leaf of the red clover, but the actual red clover blossom flower is very, very good to cleanse the blood. It actually cleanses the blood better than burdock, y'all. But burdock is good because the burdock cleanses the blood and the liver simultaneously. So if you need to cleanse your blood and get your blood from all those obstructions and thin that blood out a little bit for you can bring down that hydrostatic pressure or that uncotic pressure, there's herbs I just said. I just said, or you can go on the website and get my uh, blood builder, Iron Nourisher Kit. We have something on there called circulatory high and circulatory uh, low as well, where if you need to move the circulation, anytime you're dealing with blood circulation, always head towards the hawthorn berries. It's good for the heart. It's good for the blood. It's good for heart circulation. Juniper berries. Juniper berries is good for the kidneys. It cleans out the nephrons. It tones and it strengthens the cells that makes up the kidneys, the nephrocytes, and it's very, very, very good for the heart and cleansing the blood as well. So that so you have the, the creator knew what what it was doing when it created the plant kingdom y'all i'm telling you so the urge is for the healing of the nations and the fruits is for the food for the nations and the animals is our brothers and sisters and they help grow all the shit i just mentioned they are not made to be eaten 
You ain't supposed to eat them. They cultivate the land. They poop and they nitrogen base actually grows the plants. The plant stand grows the fruits. We eat the fruits for food. And then when we are sick because environmental pollutants, we eat the actual plant itself. We sacrifice that plant. And through that plant sacrifice, we are healed. That's how it ha that's how it happens. But you give it back to the earth when you go and you poop back in the earth. Now you're giving that plant back and then the reincarnation cycle continues. That's it. All right. So, uh. I don't have a number y'all to call. Y'all can call me right here. Y'all can call me right on here. Let's see what we got. Y'all show y'all face to him. Y'all better not be in the shower. All right, let's see what we got. When you drink coffee, your energy, if yet, yeah, coffee is super bad for you. Coffee is a stimulant. For real, coffee is a straight stimulant, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend I, nobody to drink coffee. Peace, peace to you. How you doing? Blessings to I'm you. I'm doing well. How are you? Who is that in the background? They just gave me the two uh, fingers. That's What's my up, son. Man? Peace, peace, God. How you feeling? All right. Okay. Peace. So, I have a few oh, questions. So, I've already been writing down my little notes, and I've already ordered my sheath restoration powder. Okay. okay. Um. So my thing is. Hold on, first, 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 where you from? Where you from? Oh, I'm sorry, Louisville, Kentucky. Because I hear the accent. See, my first thing is <laughs> so Kentucky, Kentucky yes. in the building. All right, shout yes. out to Kentucky. So you said you ordered the tooth and gum restoration, and now and then I heard you said you had fart palpitations, right? Correct. Okay, and watching your videos, I want to say it's my thyroid. Yes, most because... definitely the thyroid because what controls the rhythmic frequency of your heart is the thyroid. <laughs> Uh, and something called the sinoatrium. This right. is all metabolically controlled by the thyroid gland. So uh, it looks like, for, for instance, how tall are you? How much do you weigh? Okay, so I am 5'11", 123 pounds. Yep, see? You see that? So you're metabolically not breaking down your food, uh, breaking down your food too fast. So it's hard for you to gain weight? Yes, it is. Yeah, see? That? So what about but your I'm hair? So I breastfeed my two-year-old son. Okay. Like he has been exclusive. Baby, give me my pen. He has been exclusively breastfed. Like I've been vegan for four years. Hey, um, hey, come on, I don't use no soap but Moringa soap. I don't use no shampoo but your shampoo. Oh, I baby. use your face wash. Like I take burdock root. I take, I drink, um, Dang, what is, matter of fact, I'm about to go get it. Tell you the tea I drank. Yeah, like, almighty, I, almighty, yeah, she got a fast yeah, metabolism. I use, I use key limes or lemons as my deodorant. But you're going, like, you're going after everything but the thyroid, though. So you need to go after the thyroid. So what you need to do is you need to get a full thyroid me, panel. So write this down. This is the panel I need you to get. I you actually, get, I've already, is it the T3 panel? Yeah, so no, it's not just no. a T3. You need oh, to get okay. your TSH, which is your thyroid stimulating hormone. SH, okay. Yep, thyroid stimulating hormone. You need to get a pituitary uh, 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 a pituitary test to check your pituitary because that's what controls the thyroid. You need to get a T3 and a T4 test. T3, T3 T4. T4. Okay. Then you need to get a free T3 and a free T4 test. A free? Yep. It's called free T3, free T4. And this okay. shows how much of that that's, that's roaming around in the bloodstream. Okay. And it's called a full, it's called a full thyroid analysis. And, and based off of that, I can tell you what's going on with you. Usually, whether you're going through hyper or hypothyroidism, it's still an aldine deficiency. So I'm betting you that you're not getting enough aldine into the body. You're probably getting into the follicular cells of the thyroid, okay. or, or you're not producing enough thyrogobulin, which is an actual protein that help you synthesize aldine and turn it into aldehyde. But I won't be able to really, really check until I see those levels. But what you can do, though, is once we check the levels, we'll be able to change your diet geared towards that because you have certain diets that's called a gordogen free diet because some gordogen foods mess up the thyroid. You see what I'm saying? Then you have some where you need to get more aldine in. So you take things like seaweed, you eat more things that's a part of the sea, kelp, dose, right. sea moss, bromine, aldine. So I don't really know what you're going through until I read that, that uh, panel. Right. So send me the panel. 
I'll read the panel. Okay. You can, as a matter of fact, once you get it, you can send it to me right here on uh, Instagram. Yeah. I'll read it, and then I'll tell you the diet that you need to be on. But okay. usually what we do for people that have hypo, which you are not hypo, we tell them to get the geogenetic therapeutic package level one, and then we we basically function that around what they got going on. But people with hyper, we tell them to get the, which, which that's probably what you're going through. Yes. That's the essential glandular, glandular kit. Essential? Yep, the essential glandular kit I'm, can you spell that i'm sitting here talking about your uh i'm talking about your accent i got a crazy one too so it's glenn uh-huh you learn so glenn g Euler. yeah okay. g-l-a-n-d-u-l-a-r glenn you learn okay 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 and i've actually tried like a all fruit diet and i felt like yes. shit. See, like day two but, like but I, see it's called it's called the hypothalamus thyroid and adrenal axis whenever you cleanse in the thyroid so yeah. your, your adrenals are down too so whenever you take away the stimulants and you get on all fruits your adrenal glands is fending for themselves you don't have a stimulant to keep them metabolically fuel so you will go into adrenal fatigue real fast so with that yeah. what you do is you don't have high blood pressure do you no so look not that you, I'm aware of. so you need to you need to get licorice root licorice root okay licorice um. root now, and if, then, if licorice um, root raise your blood pressure uh, too much, you will get ashwagandha root. Ashwagandha root. See, I actually have ashwagandha. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention is my hair. It's like thinning out. No, it's not thinning out. Like my scalp is just so yeah. dry. I Thank have tried. It's got to be. And I was like, so, okay. So with that, what thin. you need to do with that, you need to do an avocado spread. Do an avocado spread on your scalp and then after that follow up with an aloe vera spread that'll actually open up your pores and then once you get done with those spreads leave them on for about 20 to 30 minutes each after you wash it out then you'll put my uh batana hair oil my hair miracle oil in your hair, hair and that okay. and that'll cause hydration to the scalp okay but see i use your shampoo but i need something after the shampoo I've yeah that's what you need that's what you need i just told you so the hair oil and, then, and then the avocado spread and then what was the second one after uh, the avocado spread? Uh, olive vera. Okay. All right, that's that's what you do. So send me that. Send me okay. that over and then uh and then uh once we read the stuff, we'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Okay. And then please can you send my restoration my tooth restoration powder? <laughs> Give me your order number real fast. Okay. Um Okay, uh, you going out? Okay, look, I'm just about to DM right. it to you. Right, thank you. All right, okay. Peace, love, and light. Thank you. Peace, uh -huh. love, peace, and light. Peace. to you. You got to hang up now. Y'all are so mean. Who else we got? Y'all are mean, man. Why are y'all so mean? Oh, shit. Oh, snap. Peace. What's going on, peace, good peace. brother? Peace, peace. I can't see your face, brother. I'm turning turn around real quick. Peace, All right, peace, what's going God. on, man? How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. I, I don't. How you doing, man? Uh, can't complain, brother. What's going on? What's your name? Where you from? My name is Dale. I'm from, from Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan. How's that water out there? Did they did they fix that water, man? Man, no. Um, they working on it, man. But it's all over the place, brother. To be all honest with you, get out the way of this life. Okay. It's all over the place, man. So, uh, yeah. Well, so, um, talk to me, brother. Um, well, actually, as of right now, Massey, you said something about bloating. I'm dealing with that right now as well. Um, I'm, I bloat a lot. Um, from, and second of all, I don't know if I'm retaining water or not. I don't have any swelling in my feet or anything like that. But um, I'm not urinating like I used to. But I went to the doctor, and my um GFR is like a 102. 102. Um, yeah, creatinine was down to 0 0.98. Um, I did take a lot of meat on my diet. Um, I've been transitioning from it, and I, I got what's, to. What's your buns number then? Huh, let's, let's, I think it was let's a. Start. Let's do it. Let's do it. 13. One a, let's do it one at a time. So the first yes, thing you said, you're bloating. So what is your average? What do you eat averagely? Usually you see a, a bunch of bloating mm -hmm. is when you have a bunch of candida uh, fungus or leftover unutilized sugar in, in the gut. 
Uh, what causes okay. bloating is methane. That's what causes gas. Like I was just talking about earlier, when I eat lentil beans, I get bloated very, yeah. very bad. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what you mm -hmm. eating today? Well, actually, here lately, I've been eating fruit. I went three days with eating just fruit. When you was got, when you had all the bloating, what was you eating? Um, I, I started skipping breakfast, so I would really, I would have, I just for dinner, I have just some, um, I say some vegetables and baked meat. I would eat that. Baked beans or baked, baked meat? Baked meat. Baked, baked meat. meat and vegetables. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, a lot of times, one, I was skipping lunch. Yeah. So look, what, what you got to do is we got to weed out what it, what it is. Like, is it the mm -hmm. lactose bacillus? bacteria that's actually causing the bloating is it the candida albicans that's causing mm. the bloating you know what i'm saying is it the bifidum yeah. bacteria it's so many different microorganisms that causes bloating so what i would do is to you i would do an intermittent fasting schedule where i okay. only eat i only eat between the hours of 1 and 4 p.m a day between okay. 1 and 4 p.m you will eat your meals from all the rest of those hours you either gonna drink spring water or you're gonna get on juices that's what i would do okay all right, all right now now just to keep it just to do the test and to keep it cheaper and less expensive you will get you some uh h2o spring water and you will drink mm -hmm. that you won't take in no no calories all right so the okay. only time you're taking in calories is between one and four okay all right? and eat eat the vegetables and eat the fruits right okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna be digesting during your fast and your extended fast. Okay. All right. Now, if this don't take the bloating down, then it, it they can't be the candida albicans because the candida albicans only work a certain time of day. Now mm. we can rule out the candida albicans if the bloating is still there after four to five days of you doing this intermittent fasting. Then we got to mm. go see if it's the lactose bacillus. Then what we can do okay. is we can actually do, you can go to the doctor and give them a stool sample. And if we do the stool sample, we'll be able to figure out which microorganism it is in the first place. Usually you get that bloating is when the microorganism is out of balance and they're doing too much work because you got too many mm. unutilized sugars. Now, if that's okay. the issue, then I mean, it's going to be your adrenal glands because your adrenal glands is in control of your actual sugar utilization. Mm. So, so do you be, and, getting, uh, you, you be getting tired all the time? Yeah, yeah. yeah see, that, that just happened this week. I went on three day uh fruit fast this week. Uh, I juice so much. I, I was doing your genetic juice and broke my <laughs> broke my juicer. Um, but I had I had it for a while. But um, basically this week I was just doing all fruit, man. I was tired, man. Like yeah, really, yeah. like. See, that, that's your I, I'm a, I, okay. So it's gonna be the same thing I told the last lady. You need to get you. If you can't get my kidney and adrenal kit, you need to go ahead and just go to your local herbal store and get you uh, either some uh, ashwagandha oh, root, okay. some licorice root, okay, or some uh, wild yam root, and this will help. This will help get them uh, them adrenals back online. All right, now okay. you said you was dealing with that, which was the bloating. We talked about the process of elimination for the bloating. Mm -hmm. Or if don't none of those work, actually go to your local doctor and giving them a stool sample, and they'll be able to check if your microbial profile and tell you what's causing the bloating. Okay. They can do that. I, do, okay. I, I send people all the time to get that done. What else was you going through? Uh, slow hair growth, man. As you see right now, actually I was laying on the couch, but um, my hair is growing pretty slow, man. Um, I don't know if it's anything with my thyroid. I've been through having a lot of tests and stuff with people, man, and I can't really figure out I'm a barber, so. I know, you know, yeah. pretty much how fast well, person here's what we're going. Mine is extremely slow. Body hair is the same yeah, thing. Yeah, well, you, usually your hair can't grow if it's in an acidic medium. So you probably okay. need to do a pH test on you. I check, do a pH test on your urine and do a saliva mm -hmm. pH test. Uh, that'll tell you a lot about your 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 uh, actual potential hydrogen levels of your body. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, sometimes your hair growth is hereditary too. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Like yeah. I wish, I wish. I can have a fuller beard. I want my mane to be out here, but it just won't grow like that because there's no men in my family on my mother or my daddy's side to have a mane that big. I've been trying for years. Right. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm not saying that we are limited to our genes, but our gene expression do sometimes put limits on us every now yeah. and then. So when you're looking at hair growth factor, uh, factors, you're looking at penis sizes and things like that, these are contributed to the actual size the uh, your 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 family side whether it's uh paternal or maternal you know what i'm saying fraternal or maternal these these are mm. geared towards that side now when it comes to like healing the body of cancer your auntie could have had cancer your grandma could have had cancer your pops could have had cancer you don't get cancer if you change the environment that your cells yeah. are in so that don't determine things like that but you know your heritage and your genes do can they that do have a lot to do with your hair growth though they do yeah. so it it's, could, it's it's crazy it you said that too. Way. Yeah, yeah. Cause my mom's, all her brothers are pretty much they don't have any hair. 
Um, they got facial hair though. They got yeah, facial hair though. But I ain't got.